Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. This is actually starting to look like something. Get her done constructions. Getting her done. For sure. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, we've got our trusses put up and uh, set one more because we had to set a pipe because um, we got rid of a big old tree. I had to get rid of that, but we've got our last pipe set up. Um, it's been setting for a couple of days, so plenty of time to, to be stable setting in that concrete, but we got to put one more truss up. But what we're going to start doing today is we're going to start putting up our sidewall. I'm going to put up a wall on this north side just to protect from weather and wind um, that we get most of our weather that we get comes from the north. So we're gonna put a wall across here and we're using some sea purlin for that. And we're gonna start putting on um, the sea purlin on the top because that's where our sheet metal is gonna go. Hadn't picked out a color for that yet, but um, we're getting ready to, to order all that metal. So we're gonna start putting our sea purlin up on the sides and on the top and um, pretty soon we'll have a barn. So also, uh, something I wanted to say is if uh, if you didn't watch uh, one of my previous videos, there's a part one to this It showed you kind of the foundation of how we did everything um, setting our posts or digging the holes setting the post and um, Just kind of getting the beginning stages of this started. We had some obstacles to deal with uh, you know when you find a kitten or and uh, three baby skunks in a hole uh, diverted our plans a little bit and we uh, that was kind of interesting and fun so if you haven't seen that go back and watch the part one uh, to building this barn and uh, you may get a kick out of it we had uh, we had fun with some baby skunks um, found them in one of the holes that we set we found uh, skunks and uh, we found three baby skunks in one of the holes that we dug they fell in there and we saw them the next morning and we took care of them. So go back and watch that video and you can see the first part of this. 
And um, now we're gonna wrap it up here with part two of building a barn for the bison handling system. Get her done construction right here in case you guys didn't know. Austin and I have been getting after this barn. We're getting close to being done with the structure. Actually starting to look like an actual structure. But uh yeah, we just try to get stuff done. We uh you know sometimes don't know what the heck we're doing, but you know what? You just gotta dive in there and you know what? We eventually get stuff done and uh somehow we do. I don't know how sometimes. But uh, the building came out pretty, uh, pretty sound and uh, pretty square. We're kind of surprised, but it's just that get her done construction. Hey, buddy! Look at the little, look at the little fellas. Getting so big. Today's the last day. I'm going to finish the frame for our barn. I've got a couple more links of uh, sea perlin to put up. Uh, one of the walls that I'm going to put up. And then uh, we're going to be set. We're going to be ready to put on our metal. Um, I went and picked up our new metal. I really like the color. And I'm going to do a little contrast with it on the trim and on the uh, roof ridge line. So uh, I'm excited to get this on. I've lost my uh, get her done construction partner. Austin, uh, he's on a little vacation, so um, he helped me a bunch. You saw through this video, um, and uh, we had a lot of fun building uh, building this barn. He's he's been a lot of help, but um, he's uh, he's having some fun now, and um, I got to finish the barn. So, um, but I've got my family, and I've got uh, Kevin to to help me, and and some uh, some people to help me uh, get this barn done. We're getting electricity ran through it and putting a lot of effort into that. And uh, so we're getting this thing going. Peach is getting in the water. It's not even hot yet.
Hey guys, we are about done here. Um, got a couple more uh, sea perlin to attach, but we're about got it right here. Um, bison came to check on me. Uh, it's a pretty cool view from up here. It's hot, uh, middle of summer in Oklahoma, but uh, isn't that pretty? Just having those bison, green grass, it's all good. It reminds you what, why you're uh, out here sweating and, and uh, working hard and all this. And for those, those animals right there, pretty cool. <sighs> well, guys, that is a wrap on this building. Uh, it's 30 by 50 barn. I've got the frame up and uh, we're done with the framing part. Last thing to do is put that sheet metal on. I'm excited to uh, get that sheet metal on to get the, get the full thing and, and be done with it. And um, I'm excited to see how it looks. I got this charcoal gray. Um, with a cool accent color um, but it is done and um, it's just nice oh, you know and uh, it's just nice to know you got one more thing left to do but you know we put a lot of hard work into this I want to thank uh, Austin my brother-in-law it's a uh, he's been down here uh, for probably a month uh, visiting Marissa and I and Brooks and he uh, he helped me do a lot of this work and um, I need to thank him for that. He's part of that uh, get her done construction that uh, that we came up with. And uh, you know, uh, for our first uh, pole barn or barn, um, I think it, uh, you know, you go through lots of obstacles, no matter if you've done it for years. Um, we haven't done it for years. I haven't done it for years. Um, it's my first one. Um, you know, you go through obstacles no matter what. I'd say the toughest part is building over something existing. Um, like this old dairy foundation that we that we used as the toughest part of it and um, you know is, is kind of big 30 by 50 and so you had to work around these things you know kitten uh, baby skunks a big old dad gum tree that was in the way um, and then you know just the foundation being uh, not very square I don't know when it was made but it's pretty old and and uh, you cannot always count on other people's work and that was done a long time ago with probably less resources so I give it give them credit for this uh, thick old foundation that we're using now turning into a bison handling facility um, but I want to thank him I want to thank my wife for letting me do this um, I spend a lot of time at the cabins I spend a lot of time out here working with the bison um, doing stuff like this and um, so I need to thank her for that as well I want to thank Kevin uh, for uh, being the supervisor of Get Her Done Construction, making sure we're not doing anything too stupid, <laughs> considering it's our first barn, and uh, you know, it was Austin and I. So we had fun with it though, and uh, you know, we did the best we could. And now let's just wrap it up with this metal. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't watch, there's a part one to this in my previous video. Go back and watch part one. I've just, oh, what a start, man. What a start. Just some funny obstacles we went through and some stuff we encountered we uh, are not used to encountering so anyways thank you guys for watching and um, we're almost done with this thing there will be a part three to see this and I'm also excited we're getting power hooked up and uh, we're about to start another project I know lots of projects right but we're gonna start another project and that's gonna be uh, establishing our water system throughout our uh, paddocks or our different pastures for the bison. That'll be another project. That'll be fun, I'm sure. Probably no obstacles at all. Just kidding. Yeah, we'll probably go through that. And it's hot as heck. It's summer in Oklahoma. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, uh, hit that subscribe button and follow us. Uh, just a small bison ranch in Southern Oklahoma, uh, raising the American bison. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. And if you wanna shop a little bit, we've got some shirts and some hats on uh, my website. It's crosstimbersbison.com. Thank you guys.